Mm -hmm. oh, I'm so tired. Come in. Hi, sweetie. Hi, mom. Honey, I want to ask you something. Yeah, go ahead. What is it? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just tired. You had nightmares again last night, didn't you? Yeah, how'd you know? Because I heard you yelling. Well, then why didn't you wake me? Well, I didn't want to scare you. You've woken me up any other time. Honey, I know. Maybe I was tired too. I don't know why I didn't wake you up this, these times. I guess I just didn't want to disturb you. I wouldn't have mind being disturbed. Now, after, after the nightmares I've had, I really wouldn't have mind being disturbed. I thought I was over those nightmares, but I guess not. Well, at least they're not as bad as they used to be. Like, you don't have them as often as you usually do. Yeah, I know. The last night was a hard one. I'm sorry, sweetie. Well, listen. You know where I'll be if you need me. I gotta run to the office. You could invite Larissa over if you want. Thanks, Mom, but before I do, I think I'm going to take a nap. Okay. Try to have good dreams, okay? I'll try. Okay. I love you. Love you, too. Man. Hi. Oh my god, what are you gonna do to me now? Shh, it's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. What's the catch? What do I have to do? Why are you here? They let me out of jail. Oh no, not this again. No, I'm serious. I didn't sneak out or escape. They let me out because of my good behavior. Well, what are you doing here? I came to apologize for trying to hurt you. What's the catch? There is no catch. And I don't blame you for not believing me. But I'm so I just came to say I'm sorry and I hope we could be friends. I don't know. You tried to kill me. I know, I did. And I'm sorry. I'm really sorry I did that to you. Really? Really? Well, I don't know if I could fully forgive you yet, but it's nice that you're apologizing. Thank you. And I only kidnapped you because I don't have kids of my own, and I wanted a daughter. And you seem to be the perfect daughter. Well, I'm sorry you don't have kids of your own, but I just still not excuse you for what you did. I know. And I'm sorry. Thank you. Can I give you a hug? No. I accept your apology, but I don't want a hug from you. I understand. Well, listen, I better go. Okay? What is your name, by the way? You know my name. It's Naomi. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I, I must have forgotten. Yeah. Well... I'm going to go now, so um, thank you for taking the time to talk to me. Okay, you know where the front door is. Bye. Bye. My God, what just happened? Wow. That was a weird dream. It wasn't a nightmare, though. My gosh. I better call Larissa and tell her to come over. Beep, 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 beep. Mm. 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 Hello? Hey, Larissa. It's Naomi. 
I know, Naomi. Can you come over? My mom's at the office, but she said I can invite you over if I wanted to. Sure. Are you okay? You suck kind of freaked out. Did you have another nightmare? Not exactly. What do you mean, not exactly? Come over and explain everything. Okay, I'll be over in a few minutes, okay? Okay, bye. Bye. Come in. Hey. Oh, hey, Larissa. It's down. So what's going on? You've always sounded so weird over the phone. Everybody keeps saying it. It must be the cordless on my phone. Something must be wrong with my phone. Maybe it needs to be charged or something. Okay, we're getting off the subject. What subject? We haven't even started talking yet. <sighs> well, I'm glad to see you, but why did you want me to come over? It was so darn important that you couldn't tell me over the phone. I had a dream just now. Oh, you wanted to tell me I had another nightmare? That's why you wanted me to come over? No, that's the thing. It wasn't a nightmare. But it involved the kidnapper. How can you how can you have a dream about the kidnapper without having a nightmare? Because I dreamt that she apologized to me. She apologized to you in your dream? Yeah. She said she was sorry and she said the reason why she kidnapped me is because she wanted a daughter. Really? Well, that's a big turn around. Yeah, I know. I wonder what made me get over the nightmares. Maybe you're finally coming to peace with what happened. I mean, you've certainly had enough nightmares. Maybe God is saying, you know, let's get the devil out of you and you won't have any more nightmares. And he put a good dream in you because I guess he feels that you've suffered enough because of the devil. You're very religious, aren't you? Yeah, actually, I am. I do go to church and Sunday school, you know. Sorry, Louis. Uh, I didn't mean to make it sound like it was bad or anything. It's just, no, 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 it's okay. I understand. People always say I'm overly religious. But I can't help it. I am Catholic, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, um, maybe that's the end of your nightmares. I think it is. I don't think I'm going to have any more nightmares, at least not for a very long time. Well, I'm glad that's over now. Can we go to the computer now? Sure. You should tell your mom about your dream. My mom? Yeah. She'd be really interested. Okay, maybe I will. But for now, let's go on YouTube. Okay. Man, hi, honey. It's getting kind of late, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just replying to my e comments on Facebook. Okay, well, after you've done that, I want you to get ready for bed, okay? Okay. Would you like me to stay with you again tonight? No, Mom, you know what? I don't think I'm going to have any nightmares. Really? Yeah, because remember when I told you I was going to take a nap? Mm-hmm. Well, I had a dream about the kidnapper, but it wasn't a bad one. This I gotta hear. What was the dream about? The kidnapper came. She said she got released from jail because of her good behavior, and she apologized to me and said that the only reason why she kidnapped me was because she wanted a daughter. She never had a daughter. Really? Yeah, and now I'm beginning to think it's true. Maybe she wanted a daughter. Honey, there was no excuse for what that person did to you, and you know that. I know, but the dream is making me think a little differently. Like, me, now I know she's not going to hurt me. I've been trying to tell you that for the past month. I know, Mom. And I'm not saying I'll never have a nightmare again. I mean, it was a tragic thing that happened. But I think for a while I'm going to sleep okay. Well, I'm glad you're confident in that. But you know my room is if you do have a nightmare. I know, Mom. Okay. Hurry up with what you're doing and then get ready for bed, okay? Okay. Good night, honey. Good night, Mom.